let's play some more time tonight. I'm here with my buddy Roland. Uh, it's your first time playing more time, right? Uh, I played it uh, a while ago, but it's like three, four, five years ago. So. Oh, I thought it was your first time. No, no there are only two, two little games, so that's all. So. Well, I'm, I'm not very, um, very, very familiar with the game either, but uh, let's see how it goes. Let's go set up the table and select our warbands and uh, we'll keep you posted. Right guys, we're set up. We rolled scenario 9, surprise attack, and uh, since my warband had the lowest rating, I opted to be the defenders. I'm playing undead, and Roland's got his freshly painted witch hunters. So I felt it was rather characterful to have the undead rummaging around in the ruins and then have the witch hunters come and surprise them. Uh, so far I rolled a 4 plus only for my vampire and for my zombies and my ghouls and uh, the rest are still in reserve waiting to get here in turn 2. Don't worry the birdie won't be on the table, at least I hope. So let's see how this goes and we'll get back to you at the end of turn 1 to see what has happened. Right guys, end of turn 1. Nothing much has happened. Um, the witch hunters here, the uh, flagellants, I should say, and the puppy managed to kill one of the ghouls, so that's why there's a big empty spot over there. Um, the witch hunters shot at everything and they missed everything. And then my undead moved, ran, crawled a little bit up the board towards the witch hunters. And now it's on to turn 2 and uh, very much hoping for some reinforcements in the next round. Right, here we are, end of turn 2. Over there the zealot charged my zombie and killed it. Then uh, over here the ghoul was charged by the flagellant and a puppy. And while well, the puppy is gone, so well done to the ghoul. There a flagellant charged the zombie, he knocked the zombie down but it stood up in the next turn. At the beginning of my turn not only did the zombie stand up again, but I also got some reinforcements. I got two of my drags, I got my necromancer and my direwolf, so now I've still got only one drag in reserve. I foolishly used one of my drags to charge the witch hunter captain, which uh, caused him to get knocked down. Uh, stunt, even. stunt, yeah. Uh, but my necromancer was able to raise the zombie that had just been slain. There was a little bit of shooting from both sides, but nothing really did anything. So now it's on to turn 3. Right, that's it guys, game's over. Um, we had the Witch Hunter turn 3, and during the Witch Hunter turn 3, one of my zombies got killed out of action, the dire wolf bit the dust, the drag that had been put down that was stunned uh, got finished off by the witch hunter captain and then I had to make a route test and you still see the results here, I got a 9. So the um, undead sadly lose to the witch hunters. Right, here we are with the post-battle sequence. As you can see, two of the Witch Hunter attack dogs have uh, sadly died, so let's see what happens. Um, roll your dice. Come on, puppies. Aww. One of them is permanently out of action. Ah. And one of them gets to rejoin the group. So now for me, I've got a zombie, a ghoul, a dire wolf and uh, sadly, one of my drags, Dick or Dave, he thought he could take on a witch hunter, but uh, well, let's hope he learned something from this. Starting with the zombie, he's out. The ghoul is also out. Gideon, come on! And the dire wolf survives, fortunately. Now for Dick or Dave, a d66, gonna roll uh, the tens first and then the ones. That's 25. Uh, uh -oh. I believe that's not very good. 25. That means a smashed leg. Roll again. On a 1, he, the warrior may not run anymore, but he may still charge. On a 2 to 6, the warrior misses the next game. Oh, oh, he misses the next game. It's not too bad. No. 
Right, onto the exploration phase. Uh, Ru Roland's got five witch hunters that survived, uh, four witch hunters and a warrior priest, and he won, so he gets to roll six dice. Ooh, I see double five, five. and double one. It's 10, 12, 14, 18. 18. Let's uh, tell it up and see what you got. Right, so here are the results. Uh, 18 means four weird stone shards. Double one means you find a well. And uh, the witch hunter, what, what's his name again? Brazek, I Brazek. The one with the spade. The one with the spade. He dug up the well, yeah, got a three, had to roll under his toughness. So he found another weird stone shard. Bring him up to five. And a double five is an overturned card with 2d6 gold coins, uh, which was seven in this case. So, uh, not a bad haul altogether. Let's see how the undead are going to do. Right, here we go for the undead. I've got four heroes remaining. One of them didn't survive. So, uh, well, he survived, but he wasn't, uh, he was out of action. So, let's see what we get. I got double, double six. six and 17 in total, so that should be three weird seven shots, and what does double six get me? Double six means ruined hovels, mm, you find fine. loot worth d6 gold coins amidst the ruins. Plenty of ruined hovels, just d6. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. One. <laughs> Woohoo! So, uh, let's see, three wheelstone shards and one d6 uh, worth of gold extra, one, one gold extra. Uh, let's see how many I'm going to sell and then let's uh, make our warbands do some bookkeeping for next time. So Roland decided to buy back the dog that he had lost and then still got 52 gold coins left in store and two wheelstone shards for next time. I had a total of 61 after selling, so I bought back my zombie and my ghoul, and I have one left in store. So yeah, that's it for these warbands, uh, let's move on to the next game. Right guys, we're gonna set up for a street fight. Uh, we've got our street over here. On that end we have five ogres, uh, which is a warband that does look rather terrifying, if I say so. And on the other side we've got the orcs. Let me get around to the other end of the table. So here we are, uh, set up in a single line. The goal of this scenario is to reach the other end of the table with as many of your models as you can, or at least one. Uh, or to route the other warband. Uh, let's see how it goes. So uh, let's uh, roll off for turn one and see who goes first and uh, we'll come back to you after turn one. Right, here we are, turn one. Nothing much happened. Uh, the orcs moved forward, orcs got the first turn and then the ogres moved forward. I did fail two animosity tests with the orcs. My archer was unable to move. And my squig herder was unable to move, and that combined with the cave squigs running 12 and 7 respectively means that now at the start of my next turn they go wild and they start moving in random directions. End of turn 3. What happened here? My fanatic rolled animosity and then he got a 6, so he moved towards the ogre. I ate the madcap mushroom and he charged the ogre, the hunter over there. Um, then subsequently he got killed in combat. But we did manage to cause one wound on the hunter, uh, say we, because my general is also there. And we've got the uh, captain. Ogre Captain who is now knocked down, but uh, that was a result of a very lucky roll on a spell on the, what was it, the Fists of Gork, 2d3, strength 3 hits. Uh, one of the squigs managed to get into the house and he's probably going to stay there and bounce around until, well, uh, let's see what happens. Then I've got an orc over here trying to sneak past. I think I said that already. Uh, we had a combat there, nothing happened. And now it's the orcs turn 3. And let's see if we can get turn some four, action. Turn 4. Turn 4, yeah. thanks. Right, end of turn 4. We've had some casualties, especially on the orc side, but also a 
ogre has bitten the dust. Um, my fanatic got killed, and then my oh, well, he got killed last turn. And then my uh, general got killed by the hunter. Then the hunter charged into the shaman, and he slew him with a crit. The ogre captain has managed to stand up. I didn't manage to knock him down further, kill him further. Uh, we've got a combat there that's uh, basically miss miss. It's more of pillow fight. <laughs> pillow fight indeed. <laughs> Here we have a combat where my big gun with the two hand weapons killed the ogre and then he himself got knocked down by the great weapon. Uh, the orc couldn't move across the ladder because of his animosity. But the squig inside the house did manage to get into the far corner and get onto the stairs, onto the top of the platform. It's a similar layout like here, so he's basically standing over there. Let's see what he rolls now if he goes back into the house, or maybe if he comes out and starts munching on the orc that's uh, standing on the other side of the ladder. Right, and then you start your turn with a route test and you uh, lose the game because of a... 10 instead of a 7 or less. So, um, thanks Roland. Good game. Yeah. Let's tell you the losses. No, I just, <laughs> just my luck with your route tests, uh, you're failing all of them, so. Yeah, well, uh, fr freshly built warband curse, shall we say. Yeah, but both, <laughs> both sides. <laughs> now I'm out of excuses. Uh, great game and a lot of fun. It was amazing. Awesome. Let's uh, see what we get in the uh, injuries and exploration phase. Right, time for injuries. We've got a single ogre. Yeah, poor Zog, he bit the dust, so it's injury time. Uh, this is the tenth. That's a six. That's good. And the ones. So I reroll? Yeah, reroll. That's a one. Sixty-one. Sixty-one. Let's see. Captured. Oh boy. Ha, he's captured. Oh, lots of rules. Uh, let's see here. He may be ransomed at a price set by the captor or exchanged for one of the warbands being held captive. So let's wait up uh, to see what we do. I may sell him to the slave, uh, slavers at a price of d6 times 5 gold. And that may kill the captive and gain a new zombie. Possessed may sacrifice them. Uh, okay, so let's see what happens on my end. I've got a shaman, a fanatic, and a oh, thank you. A shaman, fanatic, and my general. Let's start with the fanatic first. On a two plus, uh, sorry, three plus, he is still around. Let's see what we get. A one, of course. So I have to spend some coins to get a new fanatic there. Then my shaman, uh, d66 is 22. A lag wound. The warrior's lag is broken. He suffers a minus one movement characteristic penalty from now on. Okay, gonna mark that one down. And my general 64. Horrible scars. The warrior causes fear from now on. That's really That's nice. badass, yeah. Awesome. So, let's uh, tidy up a bit and then move on to the exploration phase. So. Turned out that Grolok here, my big gun, he gained enough experience for an advancement. So let's see what he gets. That's six. Um, roll again. Roll again. Uh, it's gonna be good either way. I can do that. Uh, only one, only oh, one. Oh, sorry. Only one. Five. Five, that means plus one attack. Plus one attack, as if he didn't have an additional hand weapon already. That's cool. Awesome, plus one attack. Now let's move on to exploration. I have two heroes that survived the battle, so I think I can just roll two dice. Let's just do this real quick. Uh, five and a four makes nine, no doubles. So that's just uh, a couple of real stone shards. Man reads book. Uh, how many warriors? Oh. Uh, 11, 10, because of another guide. Ah, 10. So, and you rolled... I rolled 9. Oh, this is the cell. Oh. <laughs> Let's turn this up. 9. Uh, 2 shots. 2 shots. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, right, get 2 shots. I think I can sell them. 45. So 45. And then let's also uh, sell off the Ogre for D6 times five coins 
Yes, your ogre. My ogre! The d6 is 3, so I get 15 more coins, for 16, 16 in total. total. Uh, that means I can buy my fanatic back and then I have 5 coins left over. And, well, you're missing an ogre. Oh man! Right, here we are for the ogres. We get 4 heroes. And uh, the hunter has a special ability, uh, well, what's he called again? A, uh, scout? Pathfinder? Uh, expert tracker, I think it's called. So yeah. I can roll two... Uh, two dice and choose yeah, the highest. Exactly. So you get... Uh, five. I choose which one I want, so I can make it into oh, doubles right. or triples yeah. or whatever. So I normally get four plus one because I won, so I'm going to roll five. So yeah. four and then the two. And then for uh, the two for choosing. And then... Ooh. Ooh. Yes, you wanted one. Yeah, I'm gonna take the one for the triple right. ones. Let's see, triple one. You find a tavern and you've got a total of how many shards? Ooh, not too much. <laughs> 11. <laughs> I rolled an 11 at least. Uh, 11, that's, uh, that's two shards. Ah, that's okay. So, um, let's see, two shards and a tavern. The tavern is the triples. Let's see, triple one, a tavern. Let's see if I can get it in the picture here. Um, you find some barrels you can sell for a good price, but your men, your ogres, are also interested in the contents. Well, the leader must take a leadership test. If he passes, you gain 46 gold coins worth of wines and ales, which can be sold immediately. And if you fail, then your ogres drink most of the alcohol and you only get D6 words. Oh boy. <laughs> So I have to make a leadership test, right? Leadership test. Uh, leadership 8 is the leader. Let's see. Oh, there's actually some order. It's a 5. I'm in. Right, then you get 46 worth of gold. Ooh, I can use it because I have to buy back my <laughs> ogre. That's 12, 14, I think. 14? Yeah. 14 gold. So that's 14 and I... Um, and you get 9 uh, for I the... Two shards. Two shards. And my warband counts as double. Because each ogre is called So you get 10, so, so that's also... Uh, no, I only got 8, right? Uh, right, 8. There the we go. So, so uh, 8 models, you can sell them for 50. Yeah, I'm gonna sell them for 50 and 14, so that's 64 gold. Yeah, does, yeah. It, does that buy you an ogre? It buys the old ogre back, I think. Aha. Um, Very good. The young bloods are not too expensive. I think they're only forty-five, and then the sword is ten. So these were fifty-five, I think. And then I got nine left, and I had ten Sounds left. Good. So nineteen. That's almost another ogre. Almost not. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, Roland. Uh, it's been great fun. Good games, both of them. Yeah, it was uh, amazing. Let's soon get together and do this again because I've got two more warbands painted up that haven't seen any action. I got the Skaven still. And you've still got the yeah. Skaven. And uh, maybe in the meantime I'll make another one. Uh, let's see what happens. Alright guys, here we are. Post battle sequence. Um, how was it for you? I had a lot of fun. It's one, still one of the best games in my opinion. And the post game sequence, that's, that's amazing. That's what we're all doing it for. Yeah. Right? The games themselves are just filler between the... <laughs> Rolling the dice on the treasure tables and everything. Selling and buying. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, definitely looking forward to some more games. Yes, please. Uh, I think between us we have enough ruins and uh, I'll definitely print out some more. Yeah, more is always yeah. better in my opinion, but it was, it was yeah. good enough. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, right, let's uh, say uh, see you next time. See you next time. <laughs> yeah, we will. Right, bye-bye. See ya. So, uh, thanks guys for watching. This is, um, let's see if I can edit this into a sort of decent video. Uh, do excuse me for any shaky camera work or uh, missed zoom opportunities and stuff like that. This is all a big learning experience for me as well. So, uh, please be kind. If you like the video, then like the video, of course, and uh, it would also be a great help if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, anyway, I will see you on the next time with another video, uh, another battle report, maybe, or maybe some painting videos. Let's see what we're going to do. No promises yet. Thanks for watching. See you next time.